Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this makeup tutorial for you guys. I'm gonna call it a Valentine's Day makeup look, but for real, for real, it's just a black smoky eye. I mean, this is pretty dramatic, I think most people would say. Um, I mean, I love all makeup, so I don't really know what dramatic is. <laughs> Now, I do do this look with two lip options. Right now, I'm wearing the red one, um, but I will also show you in the video what it looks like with nude lips because I know a lot of people wouldn't want to do this eye with a bright lip, but I figured since it was Valentine's Day, why not? Also, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you dig it. And go check out my family blog channel. I will have all the information down in the description box. If you like what you see and you want to learn how to do a smoky eye, then keep on watching. So I already applied primer, but I'm also taking this black base primer. And I'm using just so my black shadow comes out a lot more intense and darker. You don't have to do this step but I do suggest it so your black is a little more pigmented. Once I apply it on the lid, I have to be really fast to blend it with my finger because the warmness with, from my finger is gonna help blend it. I knew from the beginning I was risking it by using this pen from MAC because it's super dry and I have dry lids, so that's a bad combo. But anyways, it's not perfect, but it'll do. I'm taking this light brown color and I'm taking a blending brush, just a regular fluffy brush, and putting this on my crease and just blending away. Okay, now I'm grabbing a smaller blending brush and I'm grabbing this charcoal color. It's just a like cool gray, a light gray. And I'm applying this to my crease and uh, a little bit on my lid. So it's in between the crease and the lid and just blending that with the light brown color and that's gonna make a nice transition color for the black that we're gonna apply soon. And I'm going back with the first brush that has some of the leftover light brown and just going over the crease and just blending those two colors together. Now I'm just taking an eyeshadow brush and dipping it into this black color, matte black to be exact, and I am going to pat this on my entire lid all the way up to my crease. Once you pat on the color, you kind of want to start blending it with that same brush so there's no harsh line. Going back with this small fluffy brush, I'm just going to go ahead and blend the black shade to my transition colors. Just make sure it blends in nicely. Just blend, 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 my friends. Just keep on blending. Add more product where needed. And I'm also going to start kind of uh, making a guide for the shape that I want the eyeshadow to take. I'm just going to take a black coal pencil and I'm going to line my inner waterline and my top waterline. I think there's a proper word for that, but I forgot what it's called. I remember it's called tight lining. Now I'm just going back with a light brown shade and I'm going to grab a fluffy pencil brush and I'm going to apply it under my lash line. And this is just going to help, again, transition the rest of the colors that I'm going to add to give me a smoky effect on the bottom of my lash line. Going back in with that fluffy brush and I'm grabbing the gray color again, just a charcoal gray, cool tone gray. And I'm applying that. And then you see how that light brown color, since it was already underneath there, makes it look blended. Yep, you're welcome. <laughs> now I'm taking this flat eyeliner brush and I am dipping it into the matte black and really just setting my black pencil that I applied 
and then really just finishing off the shape that I want this eyeshadow to, to take. Going back with my fluffy brush, just kind of blending it again. Alright, so I don't know if this is just me, but sometimes when I apply my shadows, certain parts of like my eyes or my lid on top of my lid by my brow bone, there's some areas where like the shadow will just not budge and won't blend. Yeah, I don't know if you guys see it here, but I'm desperately trying to blend it. Like I see this one spot, you see? There you go. And I just tried my best to do it, okay? I don't know why my eyes do that. They're crazy. But now I'm taking this ivory color and I'm just highlighting my brow bone and it's matte because I don't do shimmer that was like 15 years ago that I did that no more so now I'm just taking a light brown shade blending some more because that spot is driving me crazy okay now here I'm just grabbing a smaller eyeshadow brush uh, and I'm just taking the ivory color that I used on my brow bone um, I'm putting that in my inner tear duct and I'm gonna layer this shimmery color I don't, forgot what it's called and I couldn't read it watching the video back <laughs> but it's you can see it's a little shimmery it's gonna make my eyes look prettier now I'm just gonna prep my eyes for my falsies so I'm just gonna apply a coat of mascara I'm using with this lash glue and ta-da magic I'm dusting off all the loose powder on my face and I'm gonna add the finishing touches I'm using this Mac blush you can use any color you like whatever is your fave go for it now I'm using this highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills if you guys want more details on the face, I can do another video on that. But this, I was just trying to make it short and sweet and focus on the eyeshadow. So now I'm adding some to the tip of my nose. I'm going to take off my moisturizer that I had on my lips. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of my leftover foundation to nude out the lips. I'm going to highlight my cupid bow. I'm going in with Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin Liquid Lipstick. This is option one if you prefer a nude lip with this dramatic eye. Okay, so this is the finished look with the nude lip. I didn't go too bold with the lashes because I know the shadow itself is a little already strong. So this is like, I tried baby, but you know what? I didn't overdo it. You can get your switch on without worrying about your lipstick. This is option two. Just make sure that you do not have lipstick on your teeth. You know I had to bring out the red lip for Valentine's Day, of course. So yeah, this one's a little bolder. But you know what? It's Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching. I hope everybody has a great Valentine's Day. And I will see you guys in the next one. You got that thing that I've been looking for. Been running around for so long. Now I got you, I won't let you go. You got that thing that I've been looking for. And you got a awful of gold. And that's really turning me on.